It's a fake. It's a deception to steal our money. They want a, a cashless society, a digital cashless society, one world currency. They want rid of cash. If that's not manipulation, wake up and smell the coffee. You destroy, because that's what's happening before our eyes, Brian. You destroy the world economic system. They're taking away our freedoms one bit, one step at a yeah. time. The big legacy of what is happening now will not be to do with health long term, it will be economic. I don't doubt the is real. I don't doubt it's dangerous. I'm probably target market, but I think it's a sleight of hand. Edward Griffin wrote about the Mandrake mechanism, where Mandrake's the magician. And so what the magician does, he has everybody so afraid of this thing called a virus, which I say is real, as they steal your money and they steal your wealth. What I have been saying for the best part of 30 years is they are planning an enormous economic crash. And I've been saying it even more since 2008, because 2008 seemed a bit of uh, be a nightmare. The point I'm making is what they want is something that would make 2008 look like, you know, a Sunday school tea party. Well, people are finally waking up that you cannot trust our own government. This Hunger Games society, I've been saying this for a long time, is designed to have no small business, no even medium-sized business, globally, just gigantic corporations that control and produce everything. I think people, as they sit in quarantine, as they lose their jobs or homes or pensions, their businesses and all this, I think they're waking up that they're being screwed. They've been screwed. What this hysteria is creating is a situation unfolding by the hour worldwide that is destroying small business, family business, even medium-sized business, some even relatively big businesses too. It's destroying them. The big legacy of what is happening now will not be to do with health long term, it will be economic. I knew it was coming, but I couldn't believe it actually quarantined people. This is, and it, this is a manufactured Great Depression when there was real unemployment. <laughs> Now they have to manufacture unemployment. I mean, it's more frightening than I ever imagined. The people who really think it's about the virus, not the biggest cash highs going on behind their backs, they just can't see their money is being stolen via their money. What happens to those people whose businesses collapse? What happens to all those people who were working for those businesses? What happens to them? they fall into the bottom of the Hunger Games society. The problem is the poor and the middle class still have not got the message that gold and silver are God's money. Gold and silver have been here since the earth was formed. Your only counterparty is God, not the bank. And what we're seeing now every day is this Hunger Games society coming closer and closer and closer because of what's being done in the name of protecting the people. They're taking away our freedoms one bit, one step at a yeah. time. You go deep enough into this system, they don't give a shit about the people. They don't give a shit about the elderly. The elderly are an excuse to impose the very society that I'm talking about. You know, they don't like cash and they don't like gold because they can't control it. Have, there's no serial numbers they can follow, but they can follow you and track your movements. Not that I'm a criminal, but they want to follow our movements and take our freedoms away by by registering every crypto dollar, whatever they call it. And the central banks then control it. They want a, a cashless society, a digital cashless society, one world currency. They want rid of cash. It's a criminal operation. They've been stealing our wealth for years. That's my concern. And everybody thinks they're wonderful people. I mean, I don't doubt it's real, but it's blown out of proportion by the media. It's a fake. It's a deception to steal our money.